right, welcome back. Let's finish this up. So I've gone through and I added the rest of the strips in there and you'll notice that I've already shaded either above and below the line or to the left and the right of the line. That's going to make it look like it's actually paper overlapping. Now we have to blend this because it doesn't look really like a shadow right now. So I'm going to take my tissue and I'm going to fold it in half and then fold it in half again to make this little square and we're going to roll it up super super tight. This is going to be our paper stump and this is what we're going to use to blend it up. Now there we go. So it's nice and tight. Got it. See? So if you fold it in half once more, just like that, you are good to go. So just tight. Then we come on each one of our sha our shadows and then little circles to blend the pencil or the graphite and it makes it look more like a shadow. You're going to do that to each one of the spaces that you've shaded. Now if you get any extra smudges inside of that paper strip, you can just use your eraser and clean it up real quick. Once you've finished blending all of your shadows, then you can come in with your Sharpie and you've got all these blank white spaces. So I'm going to outline it first. I'm not tracing over each of the strips. I'm only doing this inside that negative space, these little squares, and then I'll color it in. If you're not sure which ones you need to color in, you may take your pencil and you can do a light little mark to help you remember. Like I need to do this one, I need to do this one, I need to do this one, and I need to do this one. And then I come down to the next one and I've got this one, that's the paper strip, this one, that one, this one, and we'll go to the next row. And you see how it just skips one? It's skipping. They go in a line, you're just skipping over the strips. And then I have some at the bottom as well. Each one of those gets colored in. And then last but not least, if you would like to make it look more like ribbon, so you're welcome to add the little dashed line so it looks like you've sewn it. You can add buttons onto them if you would like to. If you would prefer, you can make it look more industrial and add metal to do the screws. All you would have to do is find two spots that are overlapping. So right here, add a circle with a line and then right around the edge, I'm going to add a little bit of shading. And then I'm just going to go in a circle. And yes, I realize it smudged all of it a little, but I can take my eraser and erase just a little bit so it looks like it's got some highlights right on the top of it. And that's it. Abracadabra, I'm all done. When you're done creating yours, post it onto Padlet, please, so I can see it too. Have fun.